Hasn't been the greatest of days for Edith Vale Aspendale Football Netball Club. Uh, the girls got beaten. Luke Purcell, what happened? We did. I think we had, they were really quick out of the mid, came straight into our back line and we were just a bit un unprepared, I think. You are actually ahead of them on the ladder, or you were ahead of them? We were, yeah. So they've come out today fighting. I think they've had a few previous wins. Um, so on a, obviously, winning streak, not a lot of momentum. Came out with really good energy from the start. So, so you know, can we say it's a hiccup for you guys? Like, Because what I'm saying is, how, <laughs> how, you, how have you been playing with your friends in the background trying to make you laugh? Look, we had a really game, really good game last week. We had a really positive win, so we were hoping to back that up today, but obviously it wasn't meant to be, and then we've got a bit of a tricky run home, so hopefully pick it up in the next couple of weeks. When you say tricky, in what way? Just good, hard teams that we've got to verse to get into the finals, so we'll see how we go versing them. So you're very much in contention still for the finals? Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, it wouldn't do you the world of good, the percentage for 72-point loss or whatever it no, was, it but... As a former coach, but as a media coach, yep. I'd put it out of your head, it's gone now. There's not much you can do about that. Yeah, we'll look forward to training on Monday and Wednesday and we'll focus on that in next week's game. Overall, though, the season, is, are you where you expected to be? I think we're really happy with how our season's gone. We didn't have the most positive season last week, last year. We didn't win a game last year. So to have three or four wins on the board, it's obviously been awesome for us to be able to sing the song in the rooms and everything. Yeah. So we're really happy with that. Team vibe is awesome. So they're the main two things that we're sort of focusing on, just working together as a team and having fun. What is it that I've asked you this before, Liv, because I did recognise you, we've spoken before. What is it you love about this club? Um, I love the team, the team aspect. We've got girls from everywhere. Just come, we include everyone. No one's snarky at each other, we just have a good time. Um, so many events that we do down at the club and it's just a big party, so love it. And it's great to see now that the, the whole female football thing's embraced by everyone. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome, especially, you know, the games that we play at home, we get a heap of the boys come down if they're not playing at the same time and they'll come and support us and help give feedback and help teach us all, so it's really a good club vibe. What's the thing that you do on the well, on the field well? well? What did you do today? Or maybe you don't want to talk about today. No. But... <laughs> um, I like sort of being that back person or someone that can find space. I think that's one of my strengths is being able to look to an area that there's no one in and find that and then hopefully become a target. Who makes you laugh on the field? I mean, um, sometimes there's always one, male, female, whatever, netball, football, whatever, cricket, whatever. There's always one or two people. Um, my twin sister plays out on the field and sometimes she does some pretty silly stuff. So like what? Um, just falls on her ass very easily, <laughs> if I can say that. I'm not sure if I can. You, can, you just rock. said it. Yeah. She's the rock, so sometimes she just takes a bit of a stack, or if one of the girls kicks it the wrong way, we always get into them for that. Of course, those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, though, because <laughs> that could happen to you one day. Exactly. Good on you, Liv. Um, uh, thank you so much for your time, and as I said, put this out of your head. It's next week. Awesome. Thank you very much. Get your game face on.